Okay. I don't know if I told this story or made a video about this, but let me tell you all about it. Around this time period, I would pray for about three hours a day. And some people may think that is a lot. When you hear about people praying for six hours, 10 hours a day, so on and so on, that three hours a day is nothing. <laughs> now, I don't really pray that much now. At the most, maybe an hour. Every so often now. Some days, some more time. But usually, uh, let's say 10 minutes to an hour. I won't say every day. But anyways, that day or that night, the timer went off for three hours. So... I was really enjoying my prayer, so I prayed more. I believe I prayed for an extra 20 minutes or 30 minutes, somewhere around there. And when I finished, <clears throat> I looked to my right. All of a sudden, let's say that, no, all of a sudden, I saw this human-like figure pretty much face-to-face -face with me. Let's say I am right here, and that demon was like right here. Now, this demon had a human-like face. As human as your face looks and my face looks. But the thing about it, that demon was very, very, very dark looking. As if it was burned. Burned in a fire or something like that. I'm serious. Like it was burned. Like a burned victim or something like that. Can you imagine? <laughs> it is like, I forget what time it was. Maybe it was 2 a.m. or 3 a.m really dark, really quiet, <laughs> and you are praying to God for like three hours or more, then you turn your head right to the right, and you did not hear any noise or anything like that, and you see a dark face right in front of you. How would that make you feel? So, when I saw it, it startled me and I turned my head quickly as fast <laughs> as I could. It is funny now, but back then, no, it was really, really freaky. So let's go to Ephesians chapter six, verse 12. <clears throat> to the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness, 
in high places. So what is that saying there? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So what is the question you may ask me, Kevin? What is a principality? What do they mean by powers, rulers of the darkness, so on and so on? We have to understand that there are different ranks of demons. You know, if you go to the army, and I don't know about the ranks of the army, but you have, I guess, the private and the sergeant and so on and so on. And then you get to the class of the officers and then you have the ranks of the officers. Well, there is in or a hierarchy of demons as well. There are different ranks of demons. So, when you begin to live for God, what do you believe that demons are going to leave you alone? Like, hey, this person is serving God, so let me move out their way. No. In many cases, they are going to attack you more. This is why I find it very hard to believe when someone tells me that they are a Christian, a follower of God, and they tell me that they have no trouble with demons. I'm like, what world do you live on? <laughs> How are you serving God and not have problems with demons? Are you serious? You can't be serious. So I know that something is up. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So humans are not our problem. A person may come to your face talking crazy to you, backstabbing you, trying to get you in trouble at work. It may be your mom, your brother, your niece, your nephew, so on and so on. It may be anyone. But your problem is not with that person. Your problem is with those demons that are influencing possessing, controlling your enemies. This is saying that our problems are demons. So what can you do to battle against demons? Well, you have to follow God's rules and regulations. When you are following, I have some people contact me and they are looking for this quick fix. Kevin, you know, I am having trouble with these demons. How can I get them off of me? And my mind always revert back to, or what my mind does, it comes to me, hey, there is a large chance that this person is in sin. When you follow God's rules and regulations, God gives you authority over demons. So if you are not following God's rules and regulations, you have no power over demons. Only God has power over demons. So when you want to live outside of God, you are living outside of his power per se. That is why you are powerless. Now, by the grace of God, you are still alive now, even though you choose to disobey God. 
Some people ask me, hey, Kevin, can you cast this demon out of me? <laughs> so you want me to fast for <laughs> three days to a week or more and have me praying each day about the situation that you are in you want me to either come to you in person or call you and cast those demons out of you then what is going to happen you are going to go right back to sin again So what is going to happen next when you go right back to sin after I cast out those demons out of you? Those demons that I have cast out, they are going to bring more demons with them and it is going to be much more difficult for me or it is going to be the way that you are going to be, you are going to be worse, worse off. This is why I tell people, getting demons cast out of you is a very good thing. But if you don't read your Bible, if you don't have any foundation of God, if you are not willing to sacrifice everything for God, what is going to happen? Someone is going to cast out your demons. But since you are not really changed inside, you are going to go right back to your sins again. So that week that I have went without food and water and stuff like that would have been a waste. So what I tell people, it is much easier to get the demons out of you yourself. How do you do that, Kevin? Okay. Read your Bible. Stop listening to secular music. Stop watching secular television shows and movies. Stay away from friends, acquaintances, co-workers, whatever, that don't want to serve God unless you are telling them about God. Read your Bible and pray and follow God's rules and regulations. Repent of your sins. By doing that, by doing right, demons are going to have to leave you. How can you be serving God the way that he wants you to and still have a gang of demons within you? No. Demons are going to begin to leave you when you begin to live the life that God wants you to live. You can come to me. I can fast and cast those demons out, but... Nothing about you have changed. You don't have what it takes. How can I say this? You have not worked. Jesus, help me. I could cast the demons out of you, but if you don't have the push to do what is right, yes. If you don't have the motivation, yep, to do what is right, those demons are just going to come back. Look back. I wish I had the scripture on me. But when Jesus would heal or cast demons out of people, what would Jesus Christ say to those people? In so many words, he was saying, sin no more or else something worse will come upon you. That's what Jesus Christ would say. Why would he say that? So the way that I am, I'd rather for you to build up a relationship with God first and see how that goes first. 
other than seeking the easy route, have a person cast out demons out of you, but you go right back to sin and your state of being is worse than it was the last time. So build a foundation with God first. For instance, <laughs> a while back, this guy got really mad at me. You know, I sent him something to follow. Because what he wanted me to do is call him so I can cast out demons out of him. I'm like, look, just follow what I have written. This stuff is not going to work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Conversation done. Ended. <laughs> Living for God is a way of life. Every day. If you are not willing to change your ways, you can get demons cast out of you every day and it is not going to do you any good if your frame of mind is not going to change. You can say to me, Kevin, I am willing to change. Just cast these demons out of me and I am going to change everything. But how can you say that when you have not made the effort now? So I pray that this makes sense here. So chances are, if you ask me to cast out demons out of you, I am going to tell you no. Unless I get this strong urge to do it, but no. First, how do you live your life? That is how, that is what I am going to ask you. So, I pray that this makes sense. The best thing to do is to live a righteous life. That is a easy way to get demons to leave you. Because the more light that enters you, demons hate light, right? And light enters you, the more you follow God's rules and regulations. The darkness have to leave Okay, darkness, or when you sin, more darkness comes into you, right? Yes. Okay, when you begin to follow God's rules and regulations, the more light is going to enter you, right? Yes. So, build a foundation with God first. Other than seeking a person to cast demons out of you, and then getting worse because you are not willing to give everything over to God. No, I am not about that life, about wasting time like that. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.